We're on track uh, with the four-year fiscal plan that we laid out last fall with uh, Budget 2019. Uh, we continue um, to make uh, job creation and economic growth uh, the number one priority in our plan going forward. And, and we continue also to commit to Albertans that we will manage the province's finances responsibly. I believe that 2020 has the potential to be a turnaround year for the economy in this province. We're seeing um, signals, we're seeing signs at this point that our broad-based um, method of improving uh, the Alberta economy is beginning to attract, in, attract investment. Again, uh, CAPS uh, indicating that uh, spending investment in this province will go up from an energy standpoint by $1.5 billion. We're seeing other uh, prospective uh, investment coming into the province. Again, we're, we're expecting to lead the country in fact, or at least the other large provinces on non-energy investment in the upcoming year. So today's budget is a continuation of Jason Kenney's broken promise to Albertans. It does not create jobs. It puts people out of work. It attacks frontline services. And not only that, it represents the second consecutive UCB budget with a deficit larger than what was actually delivered in the NDP's last budget. Indeed, in just the last four months, Travis Tave's projected deficit for this year has gone up by a billion dollars. This does not inspire confidence. Not to mention that all of this is based on fictional growth and oil price projections that are wildly out of step with private sector forecasts. More importantly, it gives little hope to the 50,000 people who lost their jobs since Jason Kenney handed over billions to big, profitable corporations.